Let's using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let's use the Pythagorean theorem to determine whether a triangle is a right triangle or not. So instead of being told it's a right triangle and given two of the sides to find the third side, we're actually given all three sides of the triangle and we're trying to use the Pythagorean theorem to decide if it really is a right triangle. Does it really have a 90 degree right angle there? Okay, and why would that matter? I don't know, maybe these numbers represent uh, the lengths of a skateboard ramp. Oh, hold on, buddy. So it would be important for us to know if that really is a solid perpendicular angle there holding up the ramp. So let's figure that out by using the Pythagorean theorem. Good old a squared plus b squared equals c squared that Pythagoras figured out for us thousands of years ago. We need to use the numbers in the triangle and plug them in for a b and c but specifically the a and the b have to be the legs the shorter sides of the triangle that are attached to what we think is a right 90 degree angle the order of those the 10 and the 24 doesn't really matter but the longest side the 25 does have to be by itself in the position of c so now we've squared all three of these numbers and I know that's its own difficult thing at this point I may or may not have made a video on how to do that that you could click on but basically we're taking the number and multiplying it by itself 10 times 10 is 100 24 squared is 576 and 25 times 25 is 625 so now we add the numbers on the left to get 676 equals 625. But wait, that does not work. They do not equal each other. No, they do not. There's a problem here. We plugged everything into the Pythagorean theorem and worked it out, but the left side did not equal the right side. Because the Pythagorean theorem does not work, the triangle is not a right triangle. And that must not be a right angle. So let's see how that works out for the skateboard. Oh. Okay. So not good for this little guy, but we've got another example to check it out. Okay, example two. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem to decide if this is a right triangle. Please pause video to allow students to solve problem. Okay, maybe you had enough time to solve this problem. Maybe not. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem to decide if this is a right triangle. Okay, plug in the numbers. 2.5 and 6 are the shorter sides, they are the legs, so they have to be on the left side. And I know what you're thinking, this is difficult, we've got to square decimals. Hey, it's not as bad as what's going on with the guy on the skateboard, okay? He's still down there, don't forget about him. Again, maybe there's a video that you can click on for me to show you how to square decimals, but probably not. Basically what you're doing is you're multiplying the number by itself, but there's a decimal. If it's 2.5, that's like 25. And remember from the last problem, 25 squared was 625. But there's a decimal one spot to the left of the 5, which multiplied by itself. So there ended up being two decimal places to the left of the 1's place. So it's like 625 with the decimal place two spots to the left of the 5. All right. Now. Let's add the two numbers on the left side and we get 42.25. This is a good feeling because that does equal the right side. The left side equals the right side. We're getting that good feeling that Pythagoras got way back in the day. Because the Pythagorean theorem works, the triangle is a right triangle. It has a right angle there. We've got a good feeling. Pythagoras had a good feeling. I think the skateboarder's got a good feeling. Let's see what happens.